In this Tower of Fantasy video, I'm going to showcase the SSR Relic Colossus Arm, give you information on how to get it, how to make it stronger once you have it, and show you how to use it effectively. Now before I get into that though, please sub to this channel for Tower of Fantasy news, info, and gameplay, and don't forget to turn on those notifications because I stream this game most days and I'd love for you to stop by, say what's up, and maybe even join our growing community. The SSR Relic Colossus Arm is a powerful machine weapon that grants you the use of two mech arms for 20 seconds and have hit stun immunity during that time. It can perform crushing melee attacks and deploy destructive ranged attacks. It has its own set of abilities similar to any other weapon including normal and special attacks that get stronger the more stars that you have. To get the Colossus Arm, you'll need to collect 30 Relic Shards which is standard for all SSR Relics. For SR Relics, you'll only need 20 Shards. The way that you get these shards is through relic shard boxes or in some random missions you may receive relic shards specific to certain relics. There is actually a mission in the early game that will grant you a few Colossus Arm shards called Fix Omnium Guard. You can find this mission in the terminal by selecting Story, then Fate Under the Tower, seen here. Once you have the 30 shards needed for the Colossus Arm, you automatically get the relic and you own it permanently. You can continue to gain shards for it after you own it to enhance its advancement. At one star, each attack will fire off two missiles at the same time that you attack and deal 34% of your attack as damage. At two stars, the cooldown time of this relic is reduced by 200 seconds. At three stars, the missiles launched with each attack increase to four. And at four stars, incoming physical damage is reduced by 2% even if the relic is not currently activated but equipped. At the 5th and final star, the Colossus Arms lasts for 30 seconds and all damage taken during that time is reduced by 20%. This relic is the ultimate in melee DPS combat and is extremely useful for characters who assume the role of tank or melee DPS using weapons like the Shield Axe, the EM Blade, Rosy Edge, Pummeler, or Scythe of the Crow. When players activate the Colossus Arm, it instantly activates its special attack, which is a sort of orbital strike that calls down a beam of destructive energy at the user's location. So whenever you activate this relic, it would be smart to do so in close proximity to a target. This skill can be used again after 10 seconds. It deals damage equal to 453% of attack as damage and suspends enemies that are not protected by a shield, knocking them up. Its normal attack combo is a 7 hit combo that ends with a pulse blast from the palms of the mechanical hands. In PvP it's extremely dangerous to whoever is getting attacked by it, but it will be completely useless in PvP fights where your opponent is keeping their distance and using ranged attacks because the arm's mobility is poor and wasting time trying to catch a constantly moving target is pointless because of the relic's already low activation time. So if you're in a PvP, PvP match and someone uses the Colossus Arm against you, just kite them and you should be safe from its more powerful attacks. On a scale of 1 to 10, I rate this relic an 8 and highly suggest advancing the relic to its second star to reduce its 300 second cooldown time. Anything higher than that almost doesn't seem worth it to waste the relic shards. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below if you have the Colossus Arm and tell me what you think about it compared to other relics. This was the first relic that I saw and I went for because it really looked cool and it did not disappoint me at all. My name is Venice SGN and thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.